first of all, when we're talking about God, uh, we're talking about a God who is one in essence and three in persons. And so, uh, first of all, talk about his essence. God is uh, invisible, uh, infinite. He is perfect in all of his attributes. He is independent of the world. Uh, he doesn't need us. We need him, but he doesn't need us. He created the world out of perfect freedom, not because it was necessary. Uh, uh, and God is all-knowing, omniscient, all-powerful, omnipotent. Uh, so these attributes that God possesses distinguish him from creatures. Uh, he is distinguished qualitatively and infinitely in all of the attributes, even the ones that we share with him. So, of course, we have knowledge, but he's all-knowing. Uh, even in those attributes where we are like God, created in his image, God is infinitely and qualitatively uh, uh, different um, in his majesty and glory. And uh, all per three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, share in this one essence. So the Son isn't ranked lower than the Father, and the Holy Spirit isn't ranked any lower than the Father or the uh, Son. That's why we say in the Nicene Creed that with the Father and the Son together, the Holy Spirit is worshipped and glorified. Uh, so you can't rank the persons of the Trinity. The Son and the Holy Spirit share all of those attributes in the same measure as the Father. Uh, when we talk about God, then, we're talking about this three-personed God who is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and yet all three persons are one God. How that can be is a mystery. Uh, that it can be is not a contradiction, but it certainly goes far beyond anything that we can measure. You know, a lot of people say, uh, I don't want to know about God, I want to know God. I think what they mean is they want to experience God, they don't just want a bunch of theology. That's how people often say it. Well, actually, you can't know anybody, including your, your husband or your wife or your best friend, without knowing something about them. And so it's essential that we know about God if we're going to love Him, experience Him, have a relationship with Him, worship Him, and serve Him.